Welcome back. In this video we discuss the camera setup for your animation. I have my characters already drawn. You can see all the layers that I created for each one in the timeline. They are grouped and linked. You can see that I'm able to move my character as a whole. That's thanks to hierarchy. If you want to know more about hierarchy, you could go to my previous video where I discuss it more in depth. Now I'm adding the keyframes and extending the layers in the timeline. Once I have that done, then I start to animate the limbs of the character while I move it in the timeline, a layer at a time. Once you are done adjusting the layers, we'll move to our camera setup. Go to your layers at the bottom left and click the cross icon and a menu will pop up. Click on the camera layer and it should appear in the layers. Notice that this camera layer will automatically move in the timeline once you extend your animation layers. The camera layer can be hidden but it will not go away and it will show unless you delete it from your layers. You can also modify your camera for a more smooth experience. You can modify the camera layer by pulling the square that surround it. Or you can go to the properties and do it by specific measurements or position by X or Y axis. Now I'm moving my camera for a different view. If you feel that you are a little bit lost with the camera, don't panic. You can always go back to Actions on top and click Export. Once the window opens, you can move the frames to see how your camera actually moves in the canvas. Now you can visualize your mistakes and go back to modify them like shown. Now I'm adjusting and setting up all the objects for the scene. I noticed a mistake on Sam's shirt. It looked like a piece of a sleeve is missing. You can always fix mistakes like this. When you are animating limbs in different layers, like in my case, there's a lot that you have to take into consideration that sometimes will limit your character a bit. To fix my mistake, I will paint the body layer towards the sleeve. That way, when I move the arm, the missing space is not longer there. That is because the arm layer is above the body layer. Now you can see when I move the arm layer that there's not a trouble zone anymore. Now we continue animating our character. Now you can see Ficus on the scene from a side view. The character will transition from a front view to a side view. If you notice carefully, you can see that Sam's arms are behind Ficus. We need to fix this mistake, that way when we animate it, it looks more realistic. A simple way to fix it is open a new layer and draw the missing hand from a different angle.
this is just for illusion purposes. This layer will not damage the character integrity since it's not linked to the body. In this next frame, we'll do the same. We create a hand, open a new layer, and start drawing the missing hand in perspective. Make sure that looks like it belongs to the part of the body and it's in harmony with the rest of the design. Now we move back and forth to see if there's something else that needs to be fixed. The animation on this video is not a final one, but I will be utilizing the scene the components and the characters in a short animation on its own. Stay tuned. Subscribe to Don't Miss Out. It's coming soon. And now you can see how the camera moved in this mini animation. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more. Bye.